Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and we're going to be talking today again about Dare to Be by Raquel Welsh in pink. Now, I've done two videos already on this wig and this is my third video because I've been wearing this wig and I've got to cut the ear tabs out of it, which is such a shame. If I put her on to show you right now and maybe you've been watching this saga of this wig on the channel, you know, and you're thinking, what is going on with that wig, Liz? What is happening with it? It's such a shame that, you know, the ear tabs are hurting me on this wig because it's a very nice wig and I really do like it, but the ear tabs are hurting me. You know, they're really hurting me. They're kind of, you know, causing me a little bit of problems. And as much as I don't want to cut them out, I feel I'm going to have to, to be able to wear this without it causing me problems. And the thing is, when you wear it like this, you know, you can't even really tell you've cut the ear tabs out anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to turn her inside out and we're going to cut out the, the ear tabs. So I'm going to just grab the box to catch any unwanted hair because I'm going to do it here with you guys. So now what I'm going to do first of all is grab the bit that I know is going to come off because, you know, with the ear tab, it's connected to hair. So don't be afraid that you're going to damage your wig because if you're cutting the ear tab out, you know, for me, comfort means more than having a kind of full active wig. And obviously you can't cut this if you're going to send your wig back or if you're going to give it anyone. But I'm going to use my scissors and cut out this ear tab. So I'm going to cut it around about there. And, you know, you will lose a little bit of hair, but don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of you know, losing the hair because I've done this many, many times on Amazon wigs and it's always had a good result. So I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut. Now, make sure your scissors are strong because, you know, they do have kind of, um, you know, they have kind of metal bits in, don't they? So I'm going to try and cut it in such a way where I'm saving as much hair as possible here. I mean, that already, I mean, you know, it looks better to me already. So I've cut the ear tab off there. Okay, look how quick I did it. Not, you know, nothing to worry about is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to cut the ear tab off the other side as well. Obviously, when you cut your ear tabs out, you know, you it's harder to align your wig. You know, you have to kind of use your intuition to know where the, you want it parting and stuff. But it's better to have a wig you can wear than a painful wig, in my opinion. Such a shame. So maybe the, you know, Raquel Welsh manufacturers of this wig need to take into consideration that for some people, the ear tabs are just too painful on this to wear. Because I have seen other reviewers saying the same thing. So interesting. But, you know, it might fit you perfectly. But for me, if I'm going to wear this wig... I've got to make it comfortable to wear. And it just isn't with those ear tabs in. I mean, it's not hurting me to the extent of the Amazon wigs where I can't stand it, you know, and I just have to get them out straight away. But it is, something is wrong because it, it's affecting me and I feel like I'm wearing a wig and it's not comfortable, you know, and that's not a nice experience for me then to, to wear the wig. It's, you know, it doesn't do what I want it to do. And that's why I'm disappointed because I thought, yeah, a high-end wig, you know, like Raquel Welsh especially, you know, well-known wig maker, you know, wig brand. I thought, wow, it's going to be amazing. And that's why I was a little bit disappointed. So here we go then. So let's have a look at it without those ear tabs. I know it's going to feel a hundred times better. So I'm just kind of giving it a little brush out over my bin just to catch any excess hairs or fibres that may have come off with me taking the ear tab off but if I show you how much hair I've lost there you know there's not much really at all in the bin there so yeah let's do it then let's I'm mean, excited now about the wig because I know it's going to feel better and I know that I have no intention of putting it up like that anyway so I know that it doesn't matter if I've cut a bit of the hair off and I know that I've got dark hair so it goes with the rooting of the wig so it's going to create the illusion just feel now I know I'm going to be able to wear this wig so let's try it again without the oh my goodness makes like a different wig feels like a different wig so 
Let me just pull it up to my hairline. Now again, remember those ear tabs aren't there anymore. So I have to use my intuition to find where it's gonna go. Just making sure I've got it on right. It's sticking up a little bit. So just make sure I've got it on. And this is why your wig clips are so important when you haven't got ear tabs because that will secure your wig. Now, first of all, I've got to say, it's like wearing a different wig. Oh, without that pain. And it's not really a pain. It wasn't really causing me pain, but I was aware that something was going on. So it feels a hundred times better. And, you know, if you look at it like this, you can't tell that it's got no ear tabs. Obviously, if I start lifting it up, you're going to see what I've done. But you can't tell. And I'm going to show you from the side. And it just feels now a hundred times better. Feels a hundred times better. Making sure I've cut off all the bits I need to. Get it in the right place there. Yeah, that's much better. I mean, who knows? I may have just got a dodgy one where they created the ear tabs too big. I don't know. But, you know, I can't wear it like that. So I have to make it wearable for me. So this is from the side. Okay, and you can't tell I've cut those ear tabs out. So it's not like I've damaged the wig in any way. I've just made it comfortable to wear. And from the side. And from this side. So don't be afraid of cutting the ear tabs out because it's a Raquel Welsh wig. And think, oh no. You know, it's, I mean, this is an expensive wig. I think I've got this in the sale for like 100 and something, 150, 60, something like that. So, you know, it's better to have it wearable. I'm just looking, I haven't, you know, I'm just making sure I haven't made any damaging mistakes with the wig and I haven't. It still looks the same, really. It just has got no ear tabs anymore. You know, you can see, obviously, if I lift it all the way up, what I've done, you know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't damage the wig. It doesn't affect the style. In fact, to me, it just makes it more wearable. What I might do, because obviously it's very secure anyway, but what I might do is I might sew in another wig clip just to secure the back as well. Because obviously I've got two at the front there, just to give it a little bit more added security, just because I've cut the ear tabs out. Okay, because you might think they could be a bit flyaway, but as long as you've got the back tightened up securely, you're not really going to have any issues. But it feels so much better now. And I feel happy with it now. Whereas, you know, it was kind of like a little bit of disappointment going on with it before. But it feels nice now to wear. So for me, it's worth cutting those ear tabs out. But let me know what you think. I mean, you can still wear it behind your ears if you wanted to because of the bio hair that you've got. I mean, I don't personally think that looks right anyway. You know, even when I got ear tabs, putting it behind my ear didn't really feel right. You know, because you can see up close that... Yeah, it's definitely a wig, even though it's got the illusion of the routine. But, you know, when it's like this, you would never know. You know, maybe put a headband in. Put your headband in as well. Give it a little unicorn effect going on there. And that gives it, obviously, added security if you've got a headband in to hold it on. But it is a really pretty wig. But for me, I just had to cut it up and, you know, give it some TLC to make it wearable. So let me know what you think in the comment section. I will let you know as time goes on how I get on with this and what I think and, you know, how it feels. But, you know, such a shame that those ear tabs had to come off, but comfort matters more. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.